In this lesson, we are given a typical exam question where we are asked to write negative x squared minus 4x plus 12 in the form a multiplied by x plus h all squared plus k and hence thereby we are asked to state the values of a, h and k. Now let's, work, let's look at how part a, how we would approach that. We are given a negative, let me just change my color a bit negative x squared minus 4x plus 12 and we're asked to complete the square right it's in this form basically so now uh, when we look at the term x squared or first term we notice that the one there's a coefficient of one however this time it is negative when we have a situation like that simply what we have to do first is to factor out our negative one so basically we have a one here okay now I'm just going to factor out my negative one so I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to take out my negative one because I want the coefficient of x squared to be positive okay so I take oh oops sorry about that take out, factor out a negative one then I'm going to open my square brackets and then I am going to say I'm going to divide through by a negative one so I'm going to say negative one into negative one x squared this negative into a negative will leave me with a positive x squared and then I'm saying a negative into a negative 4x negative one into a negative 4x will give me a positive 4x and a negative 1 into a negative, tw sorry, a positive 12 will give me negative 12. And now I'm going to close my bracket, okay? Good. Now I have this in the general form where the coefficient of x squared is positive and that's the key objective, okay? It is a positive one. That's the form I always want to get it in where the coefficient of x squared, the term in x squared, is a positive one. So this is pretty easy from here in. I am just going to bring down, this implies that I'm going to just bring down my negative one and I'm going to open my bracket so open bracket and I'm going to take a half so let's just put our workings on the side here it's always safe to do it to do it so I'm going to take a half of B and in this case B is 4 so I'm going to say a half of B all squared and we know that B is 4 so I'm really taking a half of 4 oops let me just change that a half of 4 all squared and we know that 2 into itself goes one time and 2 into 4 goes two times so a half of 4 is basically 2 and we're squaring that now I am going to add this 2 square to the middle term which is 4x and then I'm going to subtract it from the n term which is negative 12 and if you're not sure about what I'm doing you can always go back to our playlist or visit the other videos in this playlist and it will give you a guide as to what is happening okay guys good now let's continue as I've said we have just found a half of B so I'm just rewriting this now to say x squared plus 4x and then I'm going to add my square term to the middle term plus 2 square minus 12 and then I'm going to subtract it from the end term so I'm saying minus 2 squared and I'm going to close my bracket now essentially here what I'm doing I am just going to be looking for I'm just going let me just carry down my negative 1 now after taking down my negative one I'm going to bring down my square bracket so let, let us open up our square bracket so now I am going to look for the first two square terms that I have which is x square and my positive two so I'm going to open bracket and then I'm going to put in my x plus two and if you note these two terms were squared so I'm going to square that and then I can calculate my constant out here so basically here I have a negative 12 minus 2 squared okay now this implies that I have a negative 12 and 
a negative sign in front of this bracket so all of this is going to become negative so I have a 2 squared which will give me 4 now remember when the signs are the same if you notice this is a negative 12 and a negative 4 the signs are the same we are going to add the numbers and keep our sign so we will end up with a negative 16 12 plus 4 is 16 both numbers are negative hence our negative sign so what I have left here is a negative 16 now what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to close my bracket now if you notice what's happening outside in front of my square bracket I have a negative one that is multiplying everything inside my bracket so basically what I'm going to be doing now I'm just going to take on that and simplify everything now okay so I have this implies that negative one I'm going to expand this negative one in in these two terms in my bracket so negative one times what is inside the bracket so I would have a x plus 2 all squared and I have a negative 1 times a negative 16 and that will give me a positive 16 because a negative times a negative will give me a positive now if you notice we have moved the quadratic from this form which is and I am underlining it here in yellow okay this form which is x squared x negative x squared rather minus 4x plus 12 and we have written it in this form that I am underlining in blue here I'm, mo I'm changing from red to blue so I'm underlining it here this form so I have moved it to this form so I've converted it from this form to this form now what they're asking us basically now to finish part A is to state the values of A, H and K and by comparison a is in front of the bracket and I have a negative one in front of the bracket so obviously my a must be equal to negative one now if we look at B B is or B sorry not B but H rather or H is inside the bracket it's the second term inside the bracket here and if you look we have a 2 where H is inside the bracket so my H is equal to and our k out here now which is our constant our k would be plus 16 so my k is equal to 16 and that's our answer we have answered part a of this question now let's go over here to answer part B of the question now if you note carefully uh, part B states that hence hence we should state or sorry solve the equation negative x squared minus 4x plus 12 equals 0 now whenever you see that they use this word in a sentence when working anything any anything in math you're doing and they use this word hence it simply means then that based on what you have done previously in the in in that exercise you should use it to solve or to use it to help assist you in answering this question so basically since they're asking me to solve for x here I am just going to take my answer here this answer that I had negative so let me just write it here negative 1 open bracket x plus 2 x plus 2 close bracket all squared plus 16 and I'm just going to equate it to 0 now okay so just note that so uh, from here on I'm just basically transposing so I'm going to say I have a negative 1 open bracket and I have a x plus 2 and that is all squared now I have a positive 16 now what I need to do I need to move 16 to the next side of the equation so I have to subtract 16 from both sides of my equation so this would be 0 minus 16 now I know that a positive 16 will cancel out a negative 16 hence I'm left with negative 1 open bracket x plus 2 close bracket all squared now 16 must cancel out so this must be equal to negative 16 okay now I have a negative one in front of this bracket I need to move this negative one and bring it to this side okay so now I'm going to divide because this negative one is multiplying the bracket so I'm going to divide by negative one and what I do to one side of my equation I must do it to the next so this negative one will cancel that negative one so I'm left with x plus 2 all squared is equal to 
negative 16 divided by negative 1 will give me a positive 16. So now I need a value of x. So basically to remove the square, I must now take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to take the square root of this side and I'm going to take, and remember now, I am taking both the positive and negative because I am solving a quadratic equation. Hence, I must have two values for x. Okay, so I'm taking both positive and negative square root. So we know that this square root will cancel the square. So I'm left with here x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus and the square root of 16 is 4. Now I have a 2 being added to x so I need to move that 2 to the opposite side of the equation so I'm going to have to subtract 2 from both sides so I'm going to say now x plus 2 and I'm minusing 2 from both sides is equal to so I will have a negative 2 plus or minus 4 now I know that this negative 2 will cancel that negative 2 so basically I'm left with x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4. So when we are here now, all we need to do, we need to separate our plus and minus sign. So I'm going to say x is equal to negative 2 plus 4. Okay, I use my positive or or x is equal to x is equal to negative 2 using my negative 2 but I'm going to use my minus 4 okay so in this case I have x is equal to both numbers the sign are the same so we add and keep the sign so I'm going to say 2 plus 4 is 6 so I'm get, going to get a negative 6 for my answer here and then here I have a negative 2 plus 4 so I'm going to just simply subtract so I'm going to say, I can say negative 2 plus 4 will leave me with a positive 2. Or I could just simply say 4 minus 2. And that still will give me a positive 2. And these are my answers. Okay guys, it's that easy. Bye bye.